Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra and we are going to be working on my plans for next week. So I have, I realize I haven't even changed my calendar yet. So I'm just going to um, take a quick look at my calendar. So I'm filming this video early, first of all. It is Thursday today um, because tomorrow we're planning a date night and I don't want to get up exceptionally early before the kids because then I'm just going to be tired for date night and I'm not going to want to go anywhere. So I'm filming this for Thursday. Technically, I filmed them Friday and the work week we'll be working on is from Sunday the 5th. No, I totally lied. Monday the 6th to Sunday the 12th. So it'll be the 6th to the 12th and um, we're just going to get started. So as I go through my planners, I do want to update you guys and just show you what I've added. So with this one, I added the ruler for my stationery haul. That video is going to be posting on Monday, um, but you guys will see some new things that I've added before we get to that point. So I'm trying to think if I've added anything here. Um, we'll kind of go through. So this, this one's from Jane's Agenda. It has, actually, this is Heather B. Co., which I've laminated. Um, I took a cue from Jane's Agenda. She laminates her, um, her acetate. I'm not sure if she ha has acetates that she laminates, but the, um, the vellums, she laminated them. So I took a cue from her and then went ahead and laminated my Heather B. Co. dashboard. This is 2023 and I put it in front of this Jeans Agenda cardboard dashboard. Um, kind of doesn't make sense because I just popped it in front of this one and I was using this as a dashboard, but I think it looks so pretty together in this binder especially. So then I, um, I think I kept that the same I'll just kind of go through and see what changes there are. Um, this one here is also pretty. This is both Jean's agenda. So we've got the French white writing over top this beautiful flower. And then um, what have I changed from last time? Let's see. Okay, those are all the same. That's the same. That's also the same. Um, okay, so the other thing that I did change, I actually added a lot more to my business planner, which I'll also kind of walk through and show you guys, but this one here, so I, I was going to use my new, um, task cards from the Honey Bee Shop, but I realized they're way too big and I'd have to trim them down and then it wouldn't look very good. So I'll use those. If I decide to put task cards in the front of my planner instead of like in this pocket, then I can go ahead and try those. But for now, I like this. I switched, I, I, as you can see, I switched the cards. So they used to be darker. Um, I bought new cards from Simply Gilded as well. And these colors match better um, with the, this planner anyway. Um, so I only have a week and a month. I used to have year and daily and sometimes I would have quarterly. And it, because I don't use those, like the daily, I do plan daily, obviously, but I don't plan daily. Like I know exactly what I need to do on a regular basis. I basically just go through all of the sections of my planner, um, when I need to, or I go to certain sections as I need to get them. So I don't, necessarily look at the daily all the time but the week and the month are the main ones that we do plan with me is on my channel so it makes more sense to just use those so then I put these Erin Condren cards in here because you know they, they're cute they kind of match my pink binder this month too especially this one so yeah so those are the updates to my main binder um, but when we go through uh, my work binder I'll show you that as well so and we'll probably do that right before because I know when I do my, my schedule, I just do my schedule in there, but I'll do a quick flip of that before. Okay, so first thing is to review my goals. So we'll go back to my card here. Um, I did use my um, this card instead of my other one that I've been using, just as a nice change. And I don't know if I have the other one in here. Do I have an extra one? Yes, I do. Perfect. And I'm praying that my son stays sleeping because right now he is in his bassinet or play yard beside me. And I just hope that he remains sleeping while we plan. 
So yeah, so this is still before Valentine's Day. I think Valentine's week, I might switch from this planner to the, or this sticker kit to the other sticker kit because that one reminds me of Valentine's more. So we might switch. Even though my husband isn't home, we're not actually doing anything for Valentine's, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go through the review of goals. So um, reading and relax. I haven't had much time to relax necessarily, but I have done lots of reading. I've showered when I needed to. Um, a journal, I haven't done, I've actually done a few night journals. Um, I've been doing a little bit more journaling at night. I've been trying to work it into a routine slowly but surely. Water and focus, I have not been drinking. I drink more water at nighttime, but I need to focus more on drinking water during the day as well. Um, meds and vitamins, I've been okay with that. I have been forgetting because I find that I'm just forgetting like everything, um, but I've been doing better. Okay, so for, so for CEO, I have not purchased my Cricut mats yet, so we'll move that to the next week. But I've done a lot of the other stuff, basically everything. I have been following, um, like the more I've decorated this planner, I have been following it. So this is the same binder, but just in Onyx. Um, the My Beautiful Life binder collab with Franklin Covey, Teresa Collins. Um, love the binders. This one is actually getting a little flimsy, I find, because it's so filled with stuff, but I have to be careful how I pick it up. Okay, so um, in that one, my PO box is done March 1st. I'm going to cut it out because it's $187 for six months, and it's a, a wasted expense. So for wife, mom, um, technically we had a movie night, but we didn't watch it with my son. It was I can't remember the name of it, but it was the weirdest movie. It was like one of those murder mystery whodunit movies, but I don't know. Friends of ours said it was really funny. It was called like Onion, Onion something. I can't remember. It was on uh, Netflix. I didn't find it funny. It had Daniel Craig in it. It wasn't that funny. I I thought it was interesting, but it wasn't. It was like an all star cast too, which those movies tend to never be that good unless it's like Ocean's Eight or Ocean's whatever, all the Ocean movies. Okay, so appointments. My husband is going to his doctor appointment as we speak. I did have my bank appointment. I set up my son Logan's RESP and his savings account, so that is done. I've also increased the RESP amounts for all of my kids, which I feel really, really good about because savings is good. As for journaling stuff, I've been doing daily and starting to get into the evening routine. So I did all of this. I finally updated my kids' journals. I just put tons of my little photos, the two by three photos in there and like did little, um, write out like what the photo, the dates and stuff and like what they were about. So um, I find that that is like so good when you have kids, if you do like a five-year journal and they can you give it to them when they're old enough and then they can read back and see what happened and like look at these little pictures and it's just so memorable. I picked out a new journal for my son Logan, so I'm going to start his um, next Monday. Okay, and the only thing I have not done, I feel like I've been so productive between um, yesterday, today, and then the day before. I was I don't, I got so much work done in my business. I feel so proud of myself considering everything that's happened. Um, if you guys don't know, and you haven't watched my, my birth story with my son and his medical journey, I did release information that my son, Logan, who is now just over a month old, does have cystic fibrosis. So for those of you who don't watch those other videos, um, just know that that, that's something that I talk about on there and it's it's a long video um very emotional for me I cried a little bit couldn't help it because you know it's sad I don't sound sad right now but I have I've, I've had time to to deal with it right so um now we're just doing logistics and figuring out doctor's appointments and figuring out all the things we have to do for him and and um there's medication that will help so you know we're we're trying to think positive and, and be positive about it. But the only thing I didn't get done yet was my filing cabinet. So I need to start because yes, we're in February. I did not meet my goal of doing it in January, which is fine. But now I have to go through and everything I've already filed for this year, I have to like keep. And then everything from 2022, I have to take out. So it's just going to make my life a tiny bit harder. So that's it for um, reviewing the goals. And now what we're going to do is set new goals. Okay. So I'll quickly do this and you guys can follow along.
So I'm finished here. I thought of as much as I potentially could. So um, I wonder, I don't know when my subscription boxes are coming in for Planners Anonymous or one for cloth and paper. Um, I could put that on here, but I, I just don't remember when. So um, cloth and paper and then Planners Anonymous. So I have cancelled Simply Gilded and Cloth and Paper, but I have one more coming from Cloth and Paper. Um, so Sharpen the Saw, I put Shorter To-Do List, which is one of the things I struggle with. I don't, I, I like putting everything I need to do and I usually push myself to just get it done because I know if I don't, the next day it carries over and then my list for the next day is even longer because I've always got things to do. Um, the other thing under CEO is I just want to put a reminder here for my PO box, um, even though March 1st isn't on this this card. Um, so I think I said this was the 6th to the 12th. Um, I just a reminder, so I'm going to carry that forward on every card until I get to March 1st so that I can cancel it before we get there and then I can get my, um, my deposit back because I think I left a $50 deposit. Um, so blog, I have been really good. I did one this week. I did one last week. So as long as I do one every single week going forward, I will never be behind ever. Um, and I still have like two or three months in between. So if I do, if I do need to take a week off or something, if the emergency came up, I still give myself that time in between. Um, sticker design is something I want to get back into, um, because I haven't scheduled that for myself yet. And I want to start getting back into that as well. Haven't purchased my Cricut mats, but I plan on it. Home organization. So far I have filing cabinet and dusting. Probably more stuff will come up. Appointments. I wrote everything here. We've got three appointments technically, and I do have to book cleanings at the dentist for myself and my daughter. For wife and mom, um, Danica, I need to get her some new clothes because she's really growing out of everything. Uh, Chad leaves on the 11th and then um, the night before he leaves on Friday, we're just going to stay home. We won't have a date night, but we're going to spend it with the kids and maybe watch a movie when we eat our takeout night. And then I just added journaling on here because these are all the things that I want to take care of for journaling on Monday. Um, and these are all things I do on Monday. Okay, so that's it for the new goals. So we'll put this back where it belongs. Um, I'm just gonna look here. So budget recap, new month, we did that. March, nothing there yet. January stats, we did. Birth story, we did. And then Red Deer, we'll have a visit at the end of the month, but that's not for a while. Um, right. Okay. Okay, so the next thing on the list is to view calendar, the month tasks, and to check inbox. And then um, I transfer the tasks, but I'll usually schedule the week. So I just kind of go over that with you guys so I can talk about it, um, just so I don't really forget what it needs to be done. So we'll look at the... Pretty sure everything on the future log is already written on my month, but just in case... Um, 6 to the 11th. So yeah, just basically all of these appointments. This dentist appointment got cancelled and we actually had him go in on the 30th. It was our PD day, which actually worked out perfectly. So he didn't have to miss school and it's done. He's got two cavities filled already and that was for my son. And my dog's birthday is on the 8th. Um, that's an appointment day. We have two appointments. Unfortunately, we have to go get one test done for our son Logan in the morning and then go back to the same place in the afternoon, which is going to be tough, but we have to do that. So we'll be going down there twice in one day. Um, and then the next day we have to go to St. Albert to do our family doctor checks for all of our kids. So that'll be busy too. And my son, I already sent an email to my son's teacher letting him know that my son won't be in school on the 9th. Okay, so let's see. The 6th to the 12th, so appointments, my dog's birthday. <laughs> um, budgeting on the Wednesday like usual. Paying bills on the Thursday. Um, I've been paying the bills on the Wednesday as well. Um, but when my husband starts getting paid on Thursday again, I'll have to go back to that. Um, recycle on the 10th and take out and then my husband goes back to work and then my son will probably go to my mom's that day i'm assuming so we'll see um 
Yeah. And then my mom has to pick up my son on the 8th because we might not be back from the U of A. The appointment's at 1.30, but it could potentially run longer. So if we're not back by the time my son has done school, my mom will be there to pick him up. So I just have to make a note for myself on my page when I go to plan. Okay, so we already went over that page. Um, I do have all of this stuff just as a reminder, but I'm just going to go through. So budget for the second, we did that um, yesterday. So that video posted today. Plan with me, we're doing now. Um, task card update, yes. YouTube giveaway. I haven't done the draw, but um, I haven't sent it, but my, I have a giveaway. So if you guys want to check it, check it out. I will link it for you. Um, date night one, I that one I have to edit and that one's going to be up this Monday. I'm pretty sure. Um, delete Archer and Olive. I am no longer an affiliate with Archer and Olive, just FYI. A budget recap I did um, that video I have to edit that video today but that will be posted on Friday all my analytics stats and financials I did um, and Logan's birth story I did so that's how much stuff I've done and it's just February 2nd today okay so my husband's going to his doctor appointment right now kids will be on the 9th um, my son already had his dentist appointment um, Logan will be next week on Wednesday. We, I, I was going to FaceTime my son's grandpa, but he's actually in California right now. So we just, I texted him and we made plans for the end of the month. Okay. Um, date night will be, we've had two date nights, but our last date night will be tomorrow night. Um, email teacher did that. I'm going to try to dust today if I can. And I have started to establish a routine with journaling. So I'm not doing too bad, you guys. I feel really, really good about what I've got checked off so far, all things considered. Okay, so as for the week, this is this week. Um, we did that. Today is Thursday. So my husband will be home in time to pick up my son for early dismissal. Tomorrow is garbage day, date night karaoke. So I'll be doing um, a date night makeup look. And then Saturday, my son will probably go to my mom's. Okay. Um, let's see what else I can check off on the week now. <laughs> okay. Um, that happened. Email teacher about days off. I did that. I'll try to dust today. Um, we budgeted here. We're doing this right now. I will do this one as well. Task card update. Uh, my husband cleaned the furnace filter yesterday and then date night makeup that will be tomorrow night so some of these things will still be working on um between like friday saturday and sunday okay so i'll quickly check the inbox if i can remember where it is brain dump okay let's see what else i can do here um <clears throat> Okay, so just the one thing. And there's nothing here that I can do um, except my husband has to go to Mark's or Warehouse to get a jacket, but that's kind of kind of his deal. I don't even know why I have that in my planner. <laughs> okay, so that's it. So now I can go work on the schedule. So let's pull out this one. And then before, like we'll go and pull out the schedule for my work planner as well. But before we do that, I do want to share with you guys what my work planner looks like. Okay. Okay, so here's this one. Um, as I said, I'm using the Onyx Teresa Collins. So this is what I've done. I've got my stickers in here, which I'll be using. Um, these are from the Honeybee Shop. Again, they'll be in my haul along with my new Ollie clips I got. I have this pocket from Jane's Agenda. I just put this cloth and paper thing in there. So cute. I'm in love with how I set this up. Okay, this is new. Um, after this this thing here this is both from Jane's agenda love this I'm thinking of getting like a couple more of these because just this um, vellum 
it's laminated, but it looks so good over so many different dashboards that I got. So I'm thinking of placing another order with Jane's Agenda. Um, I know I'm bad, but I mean, the products are so nice. There's also this one. I put Girl Boss in front of it, but this is so pretty. So that is also Jane's Agenda. So gorgeous. Okay, and then this is like um, kind of like a half bookmark, half dashboard. And this one says today you can also get inbox, which I'm planning, thinking of getting. But I got rid of my little like honeybee card that I had at the top. So I put it this one in instead. And then what else do we have? This is the same. This one here. This is so cute. So I layered this. This is from Heather B. Co., but I laminated it. It's so pretty. It's got my name with foil, um, rainbow foil. This is from the Honeybee Shop. And then this is also from the Honeybee Shop. And I just layered it with a paper clip. Okay. Um, this, oh yeah. So this is from Jane's Agenda. I layered these together. Sorry, my baby's waking up. This is from something I cut from a Happy Planner Mini. This little paper clip is from Jane's Agenda. I thought that was so cute. And then also this, I love this. Okay, so this is from Heather B. Co. And then this is Jane's Agenda, but together it just works. It says, first I drink the coffee, then I do the things. I love that so much. Um, and then the last one is also Jane's Agenda and it has Breathe. And they, some of them come in like three packs and they're on double sided. Like that is so beautiful because most of the ones I know are only one sided. And then this is usually white. So I love that. So Jane's Agenda is my new favorite best friend. <laughs> um, but I'm not going to get a subscription box because while I like the products that she offers, I do not like getting stuff that I won't use, um, which is the whole point. Planners Anonymous, I love everything in those kits and I break down the papers and like the washi, everything. I love all that stuff. It's very artsy and I love doing art stuff and like crafting. Um, but when it comes to planner stuff, I'm very specific in what I like. So um, I decided to not get planner subscription boxes, if that makes sense, and to just stick with... Um, like the things that I would buy so I can just go and buy whatever I want right um the only thing that does kind of suck is that sometimes they offer like planner subscription box stuff exclusive to that box you can't find anywhere else um and then that kind of sucks but I mean I'd rather not waste the money and get random stuff so anyway with that thought in mind let's go ahead and plan I will start with my um my personal schedule and I have a feeling my son is going to wake up here and ask to be fed here soon <laughs> so I'm going to try to work around that if I have to come back to this I will um, right now my husband took my daughter with him to the appointment so I was hoping to get as much done as I potentially could but we'll just kind of play it by ear so if I have to come back I have to come back and not a big deal so let's start with this one I will do some decorating again and uh, we'll take it from there
want you more than my name. I wanna float on downstream, go and find my wild dreams. Yeah, I'd kill to feel it all shake you like a twisted mind game. I'll be burned by your flame. Oh. Ups and downs, no in between. Fire and ice, burn gasoline. You know I love it. You know I love it. Love and hate, romantic sin. Fire and ice, gone with the wind. You know I love it. Just break free, just let me see your bad streaks. Maybe they'll match my freaks. Yeah. Alright, you guys. So that is it for um this plan with me. So um I'm just gonna put these away here because I can't apparently I can't multitask very well right now. We'll quickly go over my work stuff and then we'll go back to my main planner. Um so this week, actually, I just kind of looked. It's not really that that busy for me, um, work-wise anyway. So I realized, number one, I messed up. I posted a Makeup Monday video last Monday, and I was supposed to post it this Monday. Uh, so I messed up with the posting dates. So that kind of messed up my entire month, basically. Um, if I go here, I posted it on the 30th when I wasn't supposed to. And then I was supposed to post it for this Monday coming up. But now I'm not going to. So I'm not in as big of a rush to edit my makeup video that I thought I was. So that's good. Um, also, I because I've only been posting makeup videos every two weeks, um, I'd like to do it more often, but I'm just not going to be able to because I need to have uh, makeup videos to post. <laughs> and I don't, I won't have that many. So um, yeah, that's going to change. And I have only three videos next week. So I've got my stationery haul for Monday. I've got my budget video on the 9th and then my plan with me on Saturday. And like, unless something comes up, but I don't think it will. So the only thing I have to film is these two, because this one's already done. And I'll edit those videos. I put edit makeup. I usually, Thursday is my editing days. Um, I added some IG stuff on here because I need to focus on that. Blog, I will be uh, posting and transferring to Medium on Monday and sharing it. I'm going to write a new one on Tuesday. Um, I switched it from Wednesday to Tuesday because um, number one here we have appointments, but here um, if it if, if I'm writing blogs, so how I used to do it before was that I would generally post two blogs or not post, I would write two blogs on a Wednesday so that when the week my husband came home, I wouldn't write anything and it was kind of a relief. But now what I'm going to do is write one blog every week, which is still a relief because it means less work. I'm not pushing myself so hard. Um, writing one blog and moving it to Tuesday because that's the day he comes home, but he won't come home until like late at night, like probably like 11. Um, and then Wednesday, I don't have to do it Wednesday. I'll probably do sticker design Wednesday because if something comes up or I can't, Wednesday is not as big of a deal if I miss one day or one week. So. I'm going to go do that. So speaking of, if I get time, I will do stickers on that day. So I'll put sticker design. But this is the day that we have two appointments, so I'm not sure how much work I'll get done. I also put blog, like brainstorm, with a little brainstorm sticker, because if I can think of stuff while I'm out, um, I can take my planner with me to the office, and while we're waiting, I can I can do that. Um, for journaling, I have my big journaling day on the Monday, and this is a reminder just to journal every day, and I put E for evening in case I can do that as well. And then the only sub boxes I'm waiting on now are the cloth and paper and then the planner's anonymous. Cloth and paper, I probably won't get this week. Planner's anonymous, they're currently in the midst of moving their warehouse again, so um, I'm pretty sure orders won't be sent out till after they're done that. And they said the first week or two of February. So I'm not really sure when that's going to happen. 
Um, and also I just wanted to share with you guys, I am using these kind of stardust um, task cards from the Honeybee shop. These are what I ordered this time, which I'll you'll see in the haul on Monday. But um, she was all out of them, so she sent me different ones, which I didn't love. But these are my task cards for my business planner. So I just took these from my Under the Stars Planners Anonymous B6 Melody. Um, that's where they I had originally set them up for. And um, this is what I do every day. And then I do this every week. Although I don't, I realize I don't have like a goal section in here because I keep that in my other planner. But um, yeah, if there were goals that were to come up, I would follow up with them there. Okay, so that's it for my business planner. But I'm currently loving how this looks, like loving it so much. Um, this one won't change unless I want to go into this binder, like for my personal binder, but these rings are 1.25. So I'll probably just keep this binder like this because I'm really liking it right now. As for my personal binder, we'll put these in the week and then we'll look at the week. Um, like usually how it goes is, and like how I'm sure how everyone you know, you write down things as it comes, right? So I might not have this fully decked out yet. There might be stuff that comes up before the week hits, especially under like tasks for the week. Um, I did take everything off that I could for um, like previous. So like, for instance, my um, husband has to go to Mark's Rock Warehouse. Another thing I want to do is write out a packing list. So at the end of the month, we will be going to Red Deer. And um, in order for me not to forget anything, I'm a huge list maker. So I'll probably go to my projects note section and just like have a piece of paper and write out a list of everything I could think of. So I'll have like um, my clothes, my toiletries, my makeup, and I'll have sections for every single one of those things. And then I'll have a list for my son. Same thing, except minus the makeup, of course. Same thing for my daughter. And now and also for the dogs and then for Logan. So um, of course he's a baby, we'll have to bring additional stuff. We are gonna be taking two vehicles because um, with everything that we have to bring, including the stroller, of course, we just won't have the room for one vehicle. We could probably use my Jeep and make it work, but I'm kind of thinking we need the two vehicles. So we're gonna do that. Um, so I added groceries for Monday and we're gonna clean the house Tuesday, um, we don't have any plans as far as I'm aware. So I might be able to get my blog and just kind of like do all my work that I need to get done that day. Wednesday will be busy um, because I will have to get up early. I'll try to do the budget, get that done, pay the bills, edit the video just so it's done for Thursday. And then we have all those appointments. Thursday, we do have the appointment in the morning, but the rest of the day is pretty much like free and clear. So we'll have the appointment from nine to 10 and then we'll be on our way home and that'll be it. And then my son will be home that day um, because there's no point, it's early dismissal. So there's no point in like sending him back to school if we're home by like 10, 11 o'clock. And then Friday, we'll just have a relaxing day at home. We'll get takeout, we'll watch a movie. Um, Friday is also recycle and um, compost day. So we'll just take that stuff out Thursday. And then Saturday is the day my husband leaves for work. So I'll write that in here. It's hard for me to write when the rings are right here. Um, that, that's going to be a hard day for me. Um, and I'm going to have to figure out how this is all going to work. So the other thing I wrote over here, um, other than like the stuff that I have to do is I write out notes for ideal routine on my own. So um, kind of how I would like my day to look. So basically, one of the things I've been thinking about is um, in the old days, <laughs> aka before baby number three, I would um, I would get up at five to do a whole bunch of work before my kids woke up. And ideally, that would work unless my daughter or my son woke up early. And generally, my son was fine. It's just in the morning, he was really tired. And sometimes he would cry or he would want to watch his iPad. And then it was hard for me to film. Um, and that's usually when I got the majority of my filming done because it was quiet in the house. Now, with a newborn, I'm not guaranteed that he'll go to sleep. I mean, he could be up and I'm really 
rushing to find time in between when he's sleeping and when my son's in school and when my daughter's quiet. So it's going to be hard. My best chances are still in the morning, I think, because my son will still be tired enough to sleep. Um, so what I was thinking, either I set my alarm for 4.30 in the morning. And now this is all based on like going to bed really, really early, like 8.30, 9 o'clock, okay? But getting up at four or setting my alarm for 4 30 waking my son up feeding him which again is no guarantee because what if he wakes up to feed at 3 or 3 30 he's not going to be hungry at four so and it, when you're sleeping and you're already tired or exhausted it's hard to like think about stuff overnight right like you're not going to wake up and be like okay i'm gonna wake up at this time i'll change my alarm usually you just roll over and go back to bed and you say screw it so that's going to be my biggest challenge is Right now I have a break because my husband's home. He can take my son to school. Um, but what if I sleep in? What if I wake up at like 7.30 and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to get, you know, my son fed, my my other two kids up. Um, yeah, I've been starting to pack my, my older son's lunch in the evening, which is helping a little bit. But yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to have to write out this ideal routine to see what it can be done. So um, ordinarily, if I was to wake up at five, set my alarm for 4.30, ideally feed my son 4.30 to five in bed um, or in my room, and then um, bring him downstairs, put him in the play yard, have him sleep. And then I can work from like five to seven. And then I feed him again from seven to 7.30. And then I go wake up my kids and then get them ready for school or get my son ready for school, my daughter up. And then, yeah, figure, figure it out like that because it's going to be hard for me to find time when I can like do the dishes and do the other things I need to do. Like there's some prep work for my son, um, in order for him to take his enzymes. Cause I said, like I said, he has cystic fibrosis and he can't digest his own food. So I have to feed him enzymes before every single meal. And in order to do that, you have to mix a little bit of applesauce with the enzymes. And so you have to prep these applesauce a little, I, I, pretty much freeze these little dollops of applesauce and put them in a baggie because um, I don't want a fresh little bag of applesauce to go bad every time I use it because it only lasts 24 hours after you open it. So there's just a lot of extra things to think about. And um, like, I know what I have to do. I just have to like time it properly. So now I can be like, here, hold the baby. And I can give my Logan to my husband, but if no one's here to hold him, he's going to stay in his play yard and he's going to scream. Um, I also have like a wrap, a bubba wrap that I can wear and I can put him in. And generally he doesn't like cry as much if he's like on me, but you know, you still have to put him down, wrap, wrap yourself up, put him in the wrap. And then if I'm in the middle of getting changed, I have to take the wrap off. So I don't know. It's, it's hard. <laughs> I'm just thinking of all these the, the little things, right? The logistics of it. And We'll just see how it goes, you guys. It's going to be interesting for sure. Um, and I guess I guess what we'll do is I'll give you an update, like when that happens. Um, because the next plan with me, my husband will still be here because that will be on the the Friday and the Saturday. So he'll leave Saturday. <laughs> so it'll be like the week after. They'll give you the update about how the week is going. Um, yeah, and we'll see how it goes. So that is it for me. I'm just going to put this stuff back in. This works perfect. I love that. And my some stickers are there. I've got these stickers here. So yeah, unfortunately, my husband leaves um, on the 11th. So he will be gone for Valentine's, which is not a huge deal because um, when he comes back again, we'll go to Red Deer. But the time after that, um, when we have our next date night will actually be March 17th, which is St. Patty's. And believe it or not, I think there's only been like once that I've gone out for green beer. Um, not that it's a huge thing here, but I just, I want to say that I've had green beer and I want to go out for St. Patty's Day. So that'll be something we'll do. We'll have date night, March 17th. I'm going to budget for that. So if you guys are interested, check out my budgets. But yeah, that's it for me for this week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Click on the bell notification button for updates when I post new content. And I will see you guys next week. Bye, friends.